Welcome to my butterfly garden. There's a storm coming and we're gonna hang out together inside in my garden room. It's a mess and you're gonna help me clean it up. But first, let's take a quick walk around the garden so we can see what it looks like on an overcast windy day and then we're going in. Actually, we're not even gonna walk around cause a big tree chunk just fell out of the tree and we're gonna get in quick. This storm front that's coming through, I say we're not gonna walk around and look, here I go. <laughs> look at the trees. This storm front that's coming through is just gonna be one of those ones that sweeps through. We get these a lot in Florida, um, but we could have 50 mile an hour winds with this one, so. Woohoo, but hopefully my garden will get some good rain. And we're gonna stop here, look how pretty everything is. And we'll catch a glimpse of my new walkways in my last video. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. And here's the wildflower garden. My starry rosin weed's looking super happy. Oh, and look, 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 look. The white beard tongue has bloomed. How pretty it is. So aren't they cute? And I like how tall, how high up they are. I'll step back, you can see the whole plant. White beard tongue. All right, let's head in and see my mess. <laughs> Mess number one is right here. This is my workspace. This is where I do a lot of seed starting, um, potting, and storing seeds, collecting seeds. And you can see I just stuck my thrift shop finds here. And oh, wait, you see what's underneath. There's some trays. There's a bunch of soil. And here, let's do a flyover like we're in a drone now. There you go. Look at all that stuff. There's just stuff. And my seeds that I tried to lay out so I could see who's who, but still not satisfied with that. But I have a plan. You'll see in a minute. All right. I'm going to get started organizing and then I'll come back and show you what I did. I gathered up all these. These are floral tubes that need to go in and get washed out to be used again. And here's some more stray seed packs that I'm just going to toss in here to organize later. Yay, the rain's coming down. Oh, fabulous. There are some seeds hidden under the dirt pile. And you know, you gotta have one of these on your work table. And why is this such a mess? Well, before I retired, I was always in a rush doing everything. Filming, editing, and working full-time teaching, getting seeds started and plants growing for my business. So, you know, things could get a little crazy quick. But now I'm hoping that once I get everything organized, it'll stay more organized. That's my hope. my all right i only want three of these you see how i use this i just stuff them back in there that pull out one at a time thing never works for me but i do like these because they're compostable and no clorox does not know who i am this is not sponsored so i can literally wipe down this work area 
and then throw this dirt covered rag right into my little compost pot. Do y'all hear Papa Cardinal chirping? He's out there somewhere with those babies. He chirps like that all day long, making sure they know where he is. They have left the nest and they don't go back to the nest once they leave. They just live out and about with mama and papa close by, teaching them the ways of being a bird. It's nice they have that. Think about the butterflies, they got nothing. It's like, you're on your own, kid. So I made these little seed drawers a while ago and they're nice but it's very hard to see what's in them. So I'm going to use these drawers for something else and I'm going to toss these seeds on the other side which we're about to go visit. These are condiment cups. I use them a lot for storing seeds mostly but all kinds of things. And I kept them on the table behind me but I really use them over here. So they're going to go in the baskets and then I have something else that needs to go in here that'll fit work fabulously. And since I have two baskets, I'll make it really easy to use. I'll put the lids in one side and the cups in the other. Then they'll just be there, ready to grab and go. I love it. You can see I have a lot more lids than cups. I do not know how that happened, but I think I have some more packages of these. I'll have to go look and I'll put them all in here and uh, that'll clear up even more space. All right, here we go. Nice clean space. Are you ready for messy space too? You guys look at this. This is my, <laughs> I shouldn't even show you. This is my workspace where like I do things where I have to write things or track things in my gardening scrapbook. Um, but I also tend to set a lot of things down like the stapler and the saker trimmer. Um, but what I really want to do is my seeds. We're going to get them all organized over here and you'll see that in a minute. And, um, I got this new packet of signs I had to order for the, um, wildflower garden. All these things here, they just need a home and they're going to get it. Okay, I cleared off this end and right here I have this little display thing you'll see in a minute I'm gonna organize my seed packets on back behind here I have some bins of randomly useful things like some wire got this little pack of um, it's like a twist tie wire velcro dots I've used these a lot this is the velcro roll tape so it's just kind of all back here together this is an old pamphlet display rack like you could stack pamphlets in the little slots i used to keep it in my classroom and i would keep books in it but i think it'll be great for seeds i can stand the packets up and then easily see what i have and then once i have multiples of like all these ones that i got at the Dollar Tree, you know, I can just double stack and hopefully all of my seeds will fit there. But then also what's going to be great is, let me put that one up top. They'll be out in the open where I can see them and then I'll know what I have. What is that? Broccoli. I decided one time I was going to try growing food and I never did. 
so I'll just put all those food ones in one little stack there. Maybe one day I will, but I just feel like I would have to do something to it that I don't want to do to keep things from eating it. And I want the things to eat it to live in my garden. So it's kind of like, oh, that's for the Eastern black swallowtails. And so is that, and that, and that, and that. And that, and like this doesn't match anything. Where'd you come from? All right, I'm gonna fill it up and I'll come back and show you. Yeah, look at that. Is that not fabulous? I can look and I can see what's there. It's not all stuffed in the little drawer. So right next door is a nail polish bottle display. <laughs> I got this on Amazon. Um, it assembles really easily. It's just like little tray shelves that are down little slots, but they're perfect for holding the condiment cups. Now I have had this organized like this for a little while, but I just thought I would show you. This is something I did before and I just have a few to put in there. And you know, what's funny is I found like three containers of the same type of seed. And I was like, why? So now they're all out. I have them labeled and dated and all my seeds are together now. They're so happy together. So now I just have to take care of this pile and I'll be back. You guys, it's done. Look at how clean. Look at how organized everything is. I love it. So these are old makeup storage containers and I have, these were already sorted. I didn't just do this now, like clothes pins, um, twisty ties, envelopes for sad occurrences, little miniature clothes pins, popsicle sticks, pens. This is a collection of random wildflower seeds. You'll find out what those are for later. And then my gardening book. It's like a scrapbook that I just kind of glue and tape things in. Here's my list of wildflowers <laughs> that got wet. <laughs> and then like when I buy seed packets, you know, I'll stick them here or plants that are new. Um, I'll put them here and date them. And, you know, especially the wildflower garden, like a lot of things are listed in here so that I can refer back to like when I got it and what I did with it. Like this one says shade. This one actually didn't make it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it'll come back. Maybe it went dormant. I'll have to go check because it was the only one ever in the shade garden. Cold stratification, yes or no. It got wet, but I went in and rewrote what I needed to and I, I can still read it. That's what matters. So anyway, and I I just put some fun little stickers on the front and there we go. Workspace ready. Seeds sorted. I am one happy camper right now and I think the rain is letting up. So if people go and take a quick walk through the garden right after a good rain, what do you think? Should we do it? Huh? Should we do it? You know how after you clean something that's really dirty, you just feel like you're just covered in dust and dirt? That's me right now. But let's go walk through the garden in the rain. We'll just do a quick loop or, or slither down my new walkways. You can hear the birds are all out and happy. Although Papa Bird's quiet, maybe those babies want to sleep and they're taking a nap so he can have a break. Look at the gorgeous woodpecker. 
Isn't he beautiful? I have so many birds come into my garden that I want to learn more about. I just have to learn more about them. Like, I don't know who he is, but I love him. Look at him go. Okay, back to our walk. Hopefully, uh, butterflies will come out later because I would love to take some pictures. And um, I also, I know there's a couple golf fritillaries in the lepidarium that would like to fly and have some nectar. I'm not going to talk about all these parts because we just talked about all these parts on my April garden tour. We're just walking through after a rain so you can see what it looks like. And tomorrow, oh my gosh, it's just like, it's supposed to be sunny but windy. And um, it's probably going to be gorgeous because there's something about rain. Everything just grows. Like everything just grows overnight. Oh, and I'm sure that my bronze fennel in here, look at this place. I love just coming in here. It's like my little, my little hidey hole cove. You guys, I have so many plans. Like I can't, I, I have little lists of little notes all over the place of things that I want to do, things that I want to film. It's so exciting. Look at my flame vine doing quite lovely it's very happy now after that rain but let me tell you it's like a twice a day waterer and I set this bronze fennel out here but it doesn't look happy out here um it was getting too much shade maybe let's put it down right here this one <laughs> this one's my one like to call them in hello eastern black swallowtails <laughs> come to my garden it's like my lure I do want to pot some more of them and move them out of the uh, Maypop Mansion. Oh, I've got some zinnias coming up. This one's been here, but look, there's one there opening. Look at all these guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, look over there. Oh, it's almost as exciting as seeing a butterfly. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I love doing this. Just sprinkle them down. That's that sage. I love the white one. Well, I love all of them, but the white ones are pretty. Oh, look at the color of this Zinnia. That one's going to be gorgeous. Well, the sun, oh, there's a butterfly. Sun just popped out a little bit, and sure enough, it's like it's their sign to come out. I see another one. It's their uh, golf fritillaries. Oh, no, there's a monarch back in the corner. Let me go see if I can catch them. They're probably, you know what's a good thing about now is that the butterflies, when they've been, like, stuck roosting in a tree all afternoon because of the rain, they're usually hungry, and it's usually a good time to catch them on some flowers. Well, this was so much fun. Thank you for helping me clean my garden room. That was so needed. And it's gonna be so nice to work in there now. And now I'm gonna go film something just for my members. So members, you got a video coming. Well, actually, your video should already be up. So you got to see it yesterday. Those of you watching today, members got to watch their video yesterday. And uh, take a minute, tap the like button, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.